Hello, 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 sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl, Sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I truly, truly do appreciate you for joining the Sweets Unmuted Soul Tribe, baby. We are glad to have you. To my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do, boo. I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you for staying down and tapping in with your homegirl, Sweets. Okay, all you guys that did join the live when I did the free readings, I appreciate you guys for tapping in. And trusting in the guidance received. So we're going to get right into it and see what it is that spirit has for my sweet loves. Okay. I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe time whenever this video reaches you. Feel free to comment and share to help get this channel growing and circulating. And don't forget to click that like button. Confirmation to that answer. Say, yeah, click that like button, okay? Energetically donate to the channel. Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, so we have regret. Regret came out in reverse. We're going to read it. Stop worrying that you missed your chance. Not all is lost. Keep going. The best is yet to come. Take care of yourself as you continue your journey. Whatever was lost will come back around. Okay? So someone is no longer in regret. Remember, these readings are timeless. Whenever you reach, whenever this reading reaches you is when you're meant to see it. Okay? I could be pulling on your energy or someone that you're connected to. Okay? This could be the past, the present, or future. Take what resonates what does not okay so either there's an emperor that's no longer in regret or you're no longer in regret about this emperor what are you going to see okay so this could be a family member okay with this soul tribe here take it where it resonates we do have wolf in sheep's clothing Okay, so whoever this person is, this is someone that you may have taken some time to heal from, okay? This was someone who wasn't who they said they were, okay? This person could look real soft and cute and cuddly on the outside, but in the inside, there's some darkness to them, okay? So this is someone that you could have had to heal from. We have Soul Tribe. If you've been feeling isolated or with few connections in the world, Cheer up. You're about to find your soul companions and form true soul connections, which will be built on trust and love. So you could have thought this person was a part of your soul tribe, okay? But I don't know. Someone, if this is you, okay? If you was in regret about dealing with this person, you're no longer dealing. You're no longer, you can no longer be dealing with this person, but no longer dealing with this energy of regret, okay? Someone could be taking the time to heal and forgive themselves for all that they've been through with this individual. As you can hear that uh, warning, keep that low battery warning keeps going off. So whoever this person is, they could have drained you of your energy somehow. Okay? What else do you have, Spirit? Okay, we have, it's time for you to let people know that it is a privilege to have you in their life. Okay, so whoever this person is that you were engaging with could have literally been engaged to them. Okay, you may have decided that you're not regretting this situation. You're taking it for what it is. Okay, and you could have, been, you could be in this energy of standing up for yourself and letting this person know that, you know what? I used to be in my head regretting this situation, regretting dealing with you, 
However, I'm realizing that I was a blessing to you in so many ways, okay? You were privileged to be attached to me. And because you didn't value it, rather than be stuck in my head and be in regret, live in regret of what didn't work out, I'm choosing to move forward. I'm choosing to heal. All right? Whoever this person is, you may not be aware, but this person could be crying over you. Okay? Stop being afraid of getting what you actually desire. You ask for it, so it is yours. So I don't know. Some of you guys, if you if you were manifesting some sort of engagement, commitment, or ring from this person, yeah, take away a resonance. You could be about to get it. I mean, it's not coming from an honest person, but somehow or another, you know, even if you manifested this a while back, Prior to realizing that this person was a wolf in sheep's clothing, that manifestation could be coming in. So you may have to make a choice. And that choice may be for you to let this person know that it is a privilege to have you in their life. Also, what I'm getting is if this person, if this energy um, was feeling regretful for how they treated you, okay, this person could be coming out of that energy and regret and coming towards you. But we'll see. Yeah, look. Too much to think about. So someone is focused on work, hard work, okay? And they don't have time to think about working on a situation with another person. <clears throat> Whatever this situation is with this wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? You could be fed up with the connection because it's too much work. It's a lot of hard work dealing with this energy. And a lot of this work has to do with another person being in their head. So there could be a lot of manipulation surrounding this connection. We're fed up and too much to think about. Okay, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of manipulation here that keeps someone in their head. spirit so someone is if this person was controlling at some point okay they could be losing control someone was losing is what well, was or is losing control Take away a resonate. Someone could be trying to come towards another person with an engagement ring, okay, as a last tactic to regain control. As I say that, page of pinnacles, okay, immature energy. So someone is losing some sort of control within a connection. Whoever this emperor is, they're losing their control because someone is realizing that they're the blessing. Show me to our neighbor's spirit. Wow. Show me again. Show me to our neighbor's spirit. Show them later. Set up so much to think about. What is this? Into conflict. Oh, someone being in and out. Someone being in and out. It's too much work because someone is always in and out. Someone is always bringing about some sort of tower to a family situation, possibly. Someone is in and out. So someone leaves confirmation. Someone leaves and then comes back with, with an offer or with, an gift, with a gift. So this is confirmation, right? 
Um, and that, if I'm not mistaken, it was in a live I did earlier. Yeah, it had to be the live I did early because I wasn't on here for a few days. So, yeah, it would have been the, the last live I did. I talked about a shirt that I had seen where this man went from zero to a hundred, you know, real quick on the female that he was dating because of something small. She like stepped on his foot. But in that same clip, right? The man would do things to the woman to cause her to be in her head. Conflict, he would start conflict, right? Conflict would happen between the two of them. She would leave or he would kick her out. And then he would run after her and bring her a gift. And every time he bore her a gift, she'd come back. So this could be relevant to someone. Someone is uh, in and out energy. Someone is always, someone's very flighty. They're very flighty. And the way that they come back is by bearing gifts or bearing finances. Someone gets their way back in, makes their way back in. By coming in, by coming in with something in their hand. And this keeps someone in their head. This is to keep someone trapped in their head. So y'all know I always tell y'all my tail and labor is my spell word card. I always feel like, and that's, that's what this is. Manipulation. Okay, and this keeps a person in their head trying to figure out what this person doing, whether or not this night is juggling. Why are they always in and out? Why every time they leave, they come back with something? What are they doing when they're out and about? Okay, this may make someone feel like someone is juggling. This may be someone that you're not um, that you're not intimate with. For some of you guys, take that way it resonates. I don't feel like you're intimate with this person. Yeah, this could be someone who drains your energy sexually. Yeah, someone is not learning something here. Okay, and that could possibly be why you're not in regret about walking away from this individual. Okay, or about dealing with them because you know that this person just doesn't get it. Someone just doesn't get it. Okay. So there could have been some cyberbullying here for someone in the past, whether it's you or them. With this crying over you, I do strongly feel like it's them. However... On this cyberbully card, this feminine energy has her head in her hands, okay? And all of these cards here, confirmation, this is a warning for someone. And all of these cards here, this woman has her hands on her head here, here, and here, okay? Three times, while this masculine only has his hand wiping out his eyes here where your sister at so this energy could have did a lot of things to try to keep another person in their head for some this person could have did things on social media could have posted little things could have said certain stuff okay this person did things to get you stuck in your head Yeah, now they're crying over you. Now they're crying over you. So the same energy they sent out to you, confirmation, the same energy they sent out to you, they're now, they're now in. And you may not even be doing anything on purpose. Causing them to 
For some of you guys, um, this for my masculines, this could be a main female that you were dealing with that's now crying over you. Yeah, that wants you back. Someone that wants to move forward. They want you back. What? Look at this thing. What you need the whole thing for is bottle water. So we have, you're going to work hard for something to find a way to bring your plans to completion. But the rekindle love for the journey and worrying less about the end result. Yeah, so take that where it resonates. Someone that, um, so that's too much. Scary. Someone that, oh, someone could be bankrupt. <clears throat> take where it resonates. Someone could be applying for a loan of some sort and get rejected. Something about a credit. Someone could get rejected due to their credit file or credit score. Take that where it resonates with me, does not. But um, there's a main female that either wants that's crying over a masculine and wants a masculine back, or there's a masculine energy that's <clears throat> in their head, okay, because they want a feminine energy back. Well, whoever this person is, it's too much to think about with them. This is someone who keeps another person thinking. They keep them in their head. Okay, yeah. Someone could be coming to you telling you that they're going to walk away from yeah, that they're going to change. They're going to walk away from um, several people, places, and things. Okay, this person could be coming towards you, could be leaving other situations and people behind and coming towards you. For some of you guys, that could even be something that has you in your head. Like, what is this person running from? What are they walking away from? Who do they leave behind to come towards me? You know, what else do you have, spirit? Mm -hmm. 